Good morning, everyone. Yeah, I missed the day. <laughs> That's a good reason for it. <laughs> All right, not a good enough reason, but <coughs> <coughs> you ever had one of those days where you're going, oh, I wonder what's next. <laughs> It started out with my oldest granddaughter bringing that finally that bike, her bike from the farm, which my son picked up and brought to her dad's house. Well, to get it in the car, they had to take off one of the tires. And she gets here with one of the tires off. And I'm going, now what? Now I'm supposed to put that on? She says, yeah, but Grossi, there's a problem. It doesn't fit in between the brakes anymore. And I'm going, uh-huh. Now what? No, I'm not. I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm not well, worst, burst, burst to, to do that. I've never done that. So, but how hard could it be, right? And I'm going, okay, well, first of all, okay, I have to admit, I was immediately kind of perturbed. I live around enough guys, right, who know all this kind of stuff, and that bike was around enough guys, okay, and that that bike could have ended up here in the shape it needed to be. On top of that, both tires were flat as well. Both well, these tires weren't flat. Why are they flat now? Okay. Anyway, so looking at this, my granddaughter is really excited. She loves the bike. She says, I love this bike. It's so great. And uh, so here we are. I said, okay, okay, we, we'll figure this out. First thing we did, I said, the first thing we need to do, because he has no idea what to do here, is watch a video, which was great. So early in the morning, yes, while she came, and we, the internet was still working. Yeah, the rest of the day, nothing was working here. Okay, just say, no TV. No, nothing. We wanted to do the karaoke thing again, which we did, which was amazing and a lot of fun on Friday. And wanted to do that again. And everybody got to sing a song. Right? And it was just amazing. Everybody got into it. All the kids, myself, you know. And the kids were so excited. Grossi, you sing so good. <laughs> anyway, so nothing. So it was completely otherwise electronics free day completely no TV no nothing which we already do very little of yet so uh, we were able to watch that little video I'm going oh okay so, so let's see so they, they said release the brakes like, yeah but they don't show how to release the brakes or rather okay there's like this V thing and then yeah I'm going okay then I think this is it that's how it twisted I went and got the tools and ran I don't know how many times to get the right you know, size of whatever and it seemed to be the one size we actually needed just wasn't available <laughs> every other wrench was there <laughs> so uh, I twisted that one I found one wrench that you can adjust so and sure enough whoop here it goes I'm like, oh okay well that was easy and then I realized well, I have to be really careful that that whole thing doesn't just slip out okay so that so we put the tire in and I'm going Danny did you bring any more log nuts she says no well is that or those other ones the ones that we're supposed to I said well maybe we need to unscrew the ones that were on the inside so we tried that we, could get, we got one off but not the other one it was not possible I'm going okay I need to stop something's not right here I said I think we're missing two of these nuts, log nuts, eh? yes, and um, she's looking at the back of the tire, she says, yeah, Grozy, look, there, there's two on the inside as well, and then there's two on the outside, I'm going, well, where are they? Oh, so now, I'm getting really ticked off, <laughs> top of that, that I'm, she's coming with a bike in pieces, okay, we're missing pieces that were there <laughs> before, <laughs> Anyway, I am getting so upset. Be why? Because here we are. 
I hear I'm taking care of these children. They love riding their bikes. We go on these walks. They all love riding their bikes. She's finally got a bike that's just right for her size, right? Yes, and she can grow into it a little bit. And uh, to me, children come first. If you can't make time for children, right, for something like this, now, a bike that comes in perfect shape to me and her, <laughs> I'm, I have a problem with that. Yeah? Yes? Yeah. All right. Just saying. And uh, so anyway, so I'm, 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 I'm at a loss. I said, well, yeah, we're going to have to wait until we get some more of these nuts. I, I don't know what to tell you. So I'm going in, I'm trying to cool down, because also in the meantime, we've kind of, my hand is already hurting now from all, trying to do all the twisting, this and that. And uh, she comes, she says, Rosie, how about we take, how about the, the old bike of, of uh, my grandson's, right? He also, I brought him also a new bike, a bigger bike, which he loves. And yeah, there's a story with that one yesterday too. Why don't we take those? It looks like they're the same ones. I said, well, let's give it a try. So easy peasy, we got those off. And sure enough, they work. Yay, great. All right, so we got the tire on. Now it breaks. It was so hard to pull that wire back in place. My daughter got, my granddaughter got her, her finger pinched and it hurt. And I also I had to be really careful while I'm trying to pull this, and, and I do have some little, uh, uh, yeah, it, it didn't cut flesh, but it could have easily. So anyway, so here we're trying, and we had to readjust and readjust about three or four times. Eventually she says, Garzi, it's fine, I'll just use the back brake. I said, uh-uh, no, 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 no. You're not going on the road like this where the front brakes are not, you know, where they don't, touch the tire when you when you need to the brake so I said let's give it a one more try it's like the fourth try and, and it worked and we finally got it uh, to where yep everything's working and she loved it and I was pissed <laughs> I can't say it any other way I was so upset that okay though it all worked out that yeah okay don't go any further into it. I ended up calling my daughter, my other daughter. My daughter here had to go to work. She went to outside work uh, for you know, a change. And and I called my other daughter and said, I got to vent. I just have to vent. I have to vent about the guys of the world. <laughs> and she just listens. Oh, okay, mom. <laughs> you had a rough morning already. I said, mainly again, what is it that... Children aren't the most important thing in people's lives. Where you make sure right, that, yes, they're being taken care of by someone else so you can go to work, right? Then you make sure that whatever you bring, whatever there is, you know, don't even have to pay for it, right, that, that, that it's functional, that it's taken care of. Because guys are just better at this kind of stuff. Okay, in my case, guys are better in this kind of stuff. Okay, you get my drift here? All right. Well, anyway, so that was all good, and uh, and uh, sure enough, they started riding the bikes right away, and then they, then uh, everybody started to show up. And so that was great. And so uh, we we lost the pool. That's finally it was a, and then I still haven't gotten another one, and it's gotten to the point now where I have to say hmm, maybe I don't need to get another pool because we're getting another pool at my other daughter's house, which we're going to in about two weeks. So I thought, well, maybe I don't need to. And we were all going to pitch in and pay for it. So now we're going to just help pay for that other one. All right. Anywho. So we're out there and I thought, oh, let's just do the sprinklers. They have three sprinklers here. Turns out that none of them somehow work anymore properly. I'm going, what is this? Is they're all broke. They were all working just fine. What happened now? None of the sprinklers really worked. You know, we kind of made it work, but still, you know, just like, what 
is this? What is today? What's going on? And then we found out the internet's all broken. <laughs> so, no karaoke time. No siesta time, right? Well, we're there just sitting. And so we started playing some games. I said, hey, let's just play games. And it's not like that was a problem. You know, I just said, well, let's readjust. So we started playing these games from the library. And it was just, gosh almighty. One of them, the directions were missing. So all these pieces of a game that none of us has ever played. We had no idea how to play it. Couldn't figure it out. And so there was one game, yeah, where we, you, you, they had to put these little things on, and then they each got a card, and they had to, they had to guess what animal they were. They had a lot of fun with that one. Then we played Sky Joe again. That was great. Uh, lunch went great. Uh, then what else was there? <laughs> it seemed like all day long we came across things that were broken. We wanted to do something and things were just broken. And we, were, and we didn't do it. We, we did not do it. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. Very on top of things like that. Then here are my, my granddaughter and my grandson. They go and they, I'll let them go because my knees still have to take care of that knee. I can't do too much right now. So going for walks is out for right now. Don't, I'm going to try this morning because they all, now they all have their bikes. And uh, the friend is going to, my grandson's friend's also going to bring his bike, so they're going to want to go for a bike ride, yes? Anyway, so I'm going to have to, yeah, and I think I'm ready today, so. Still, still a little worried about my knee, but I had a good night, so yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so here they go, and I said, okay, you guys can ride all the way to the stop sign and back. Since my gra older granddaughter was here, I wasn't too worried. So my grandson and her, they go, and, and, and uh, the rest of us came down here, including my younger granddaughter. And here comes my granddaughter. She comes back, and they come down. There's a big, steep hill over here, a, big, a short, steeper hill to get down here to the bottom part of the house. Part of the house is built into the, uh, into the ground. The bottom part here and it's amazing they don't need to use any kind of air conditioning or even heat in the summertime it stay that the, the temperature stays pretty much the same and it's cool it is nice and cool and uh, that's also where they have their little uh, uh, area where if there is a tornado or something that they go to be safe <clears throat> so it's, it's a great house it's a great house great greatly built and and uh, and has this underground part in a way so we were down here and here comes my grandmother and she goes everybody get out of the way here i come and she made sure nobody was in the way and here she comes down my grandson didn't do that and he almost hit his little sister in order to not hit her okay, she didn't know that there was another okay didn't think she's five years old there's another rider behind her and in order for him to miss her, he couldn't take the curve to come to the flat part here. And he had to go, keep going. There's another hill. And he ended up, his bike ended up flipping. And he threw him off the bike into the grass. It's all grass. And he landed pretty heavy on one side. But he didn't hit his sister. The bike flew. He flew. And I'm just watching. Him, and I'm like, oh, okay. And sure enough, he's like, oh, I'm going, come on, let's see. No, there's no skin broke, there's no blood, nothing. I mean, it didn't even show a red line or nothing. I said, yeah, you're going to have a bruise, but you're okay. And I said, thank God you missed your sister. And then we had to have a talk. Yes, if he'd have hit his sister, she'd have ended up in the hospital. So it was one of those things, times again, I said, you know, your cousin yelled, made sure everybody was out of the way. You didn't do that. You just came crashing down uh, uh, you know, a bit later uh, and didn't warn anyone. Didn't. Uh, well, anyway, so so there. I was like, oh, what is next? And that could have turned out into a big old, as I say, bad, bad accident. 
and a little one would have been badly hurt. So, mm, boys, yes. Well, it didn't stop there. So we're upstairs. We were playing Sky Joe, and we're having a great time. And uh, we're kind of done. And it's getting towards cleanup time. I'm going, oh, okay, what else? So I told my younger grandma, I said, hey, you know what? I said, you have this, she has this great kitchen that she cooks in. And she has all these wonderful things to cook with, isn't it? Oh, yeah, 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 all fake. I said, how about you fix us some food? Yeah, while we were just kind of talking and, you know. And uh, so she started. And, of course, that boy says, I, I mean, dear me. Now it's gotten to the point. We're exhausted from the whole day. And... Uh, and the boys were just bickering at each other and teasing each other and uh, frustrating each other. One or the other says, okay, guys, all three of you, the older three, so go and run around the house three times. Okay, It's nice. They can go run all the way around, right? There's no fencing or anything. All the way around. And it's a pretty big house. <laughs> Get that energy out <clears throat> from just sitting there playing some games. Five minutes, five minutes, not even five minutes, I hear someone crying outside, not, you know, and I go, oh, what now? And one of them came in, I can't remember, it must have been my grandson, comes in and says, Grozy, John got hurt, he got hurt, he, he fell, and he got hurt, he's bleeding all over. I'm going, oh, what? So he comes in, right, and uh, here's my grandson, he goes immediately, he goes and he gets a little paper towel and, and makes it wet and has it on his on his friend's elbow. And, yeah. Nice to see. It's not just, oh, he got hurt, oh, okay, no, 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 they take also care of each other, so it's beautiful, isn't it? And sure enough, his elbow was bleeding, his foot hit scratch on his foot that was bleeding and he scraped up from his knee halfway down his leg oh 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 that was a yellow oh i haven't seen one of those here oh a finch oh a yellow finch uh it was all just surface stuff so he they went out, started running right out the drive of the, the walkway here from the door, and there's one 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 spot where there, there's a little lip between one of the rocks and the other one, right? The stepping, st not stepping stones, just the walkway. And he tripped over that, fell, flop, and uh, so oh. Going, Ugh, no, just before his mom comes and picks him up. Ah, dear me, what's next? <laughs> I mean, all day it went like this. And uh, the interesting, or the really cute thing is, is that my younger granddaughter now, she's she's ready. She's, she's I got it, Grozzy, I got it, I got it. And she went, she got the triple antibiotic and the band-aids, yes, and we bandaged him up. Yes, cleaned him up, bandaged him up, and he was already. Yeah, he's just, yeah, he's just, he's just, he's just, I just, I don't know. I just tripped, and I fell. It happens. Don't worry. Next time, just lift your feet a little better. <laughs> and uh, and so we bandaged him up. Yeah, and uh, and and he was fine. I said, just all surface, little surface wounds, and. Then I said, okay, time to clean up. Let's just clean up and take care of everything. And uh, the boys, we, so we had watermelon. And my older granddaughter wanted the end piece and, and so she could scoop it out. All right, now we have a problem. Everybody wanted the end piece now. <laughs> I said, well, I'll fix that. So I cut them each around that they could also just use with a spoon. And the boys, I don't know what it is with boys, but I looked underneath there, they had the, the counter and then high chairs to the counter. Looked underneath and said, did you guys eat on the floor? I said, what's all that watermelon doing down there? So I said, yeah, you guys will clean up around here, right? Here is the towels, clean up the watermelon, and then you're gonna do vacuuming. This, so they did all that together. We cleaned up 
every you know, outside. Uh, then we went you know, down here, and then we oh, and they built this huge fort. It takes up half of the down bottom part here, yeah, and they're going to have a sleepover. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so that that all worked out well. Yes, kept them busy for quite some time. Then we went out front and we waited for for uh, my grandson's friend's mom to come and pick him up. So they started playing baseball. Yes. And my younger granddaughter, she just doesn't understand some of the rules, and 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 they're they're, they're lenient with her, and and uh, one of them wasn't playing. I said, let's see how long. We're going to have five minutes until she has a temper tantrum about not being, you know, that she was tacked or something. Sure enough, it happened, and she had the biggest temper tantrum yet down there on that. This is a great ending to a wonderful day of just mishaps, one after another. She calmed down, and then she came over, and she, Rosie, and I said, well, I'm not sure. I said, did you have fun doing that? No. I said, well, then how about next time not doing it? Yeah, but. I said, you get plenty of home runs. If once in a while you get attacked, you're going to have to just accept that as well. Right? Yes, we have most of the time just wonderful days. Everything just goes hunky dory, just one good thing after another. And yesterday it was like one more thing, one more thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sure I'm missing something. Maybe not. Yeah. Well, all in all, it was a good day anyway, right? Just a very interesting day where even the children said, like, Rosie, why is everything broken? Why and, and, and why are we getting hurt today? Or we just said, I said, well, maybe we need to do a little more praying than we have. Yes? Yeah. Anywho. So that was our day yesterday. I fell into bed. We were all exhausted, I could tell. We were just exhausted from a day of mishaps. Things not quite being the way, right? Yes? Yeah. yeah, I'm going to be plucking some feathers too with some of them guys I'm around. Eventually, about, you know, that just the bike. <laughs> no, we'll find that. Okay, let's get going here. <laughs> Uh, we're going to have a great day today. Oh, and it has cooled down. Oh, thank God. Oh, yeah, that was a great thing about it. Everybody noticed it's not that hot anymore, Grozy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So we had this heat wave all week, uh, last week. And it's much cooler again now. Yeah, it's kind of over for now, which is great. Nice time now to go for walks again. This night is just nine o'clock in the morning. It was already so hot last week that I just did not want to take the children into that kind of heat. Yeah, or myself for that matter. All right, so we are in the book of Judith in five. A council of war in Holof Holofernes camp. Holo Furnace, general in chief of the Assyrian army, received the intelligence that the Israelites were preparing for war, that they had closed the mountain passes, fortified all the high peaks, and laid obstructions in the plains. Holo Furnace was furious. He summoned all the princes of Moab, all the generals of Ammon, and all the satraps of the coastal regions. Men of Canaan, he said, tell me, what people is this that occupies the hill country? What towns does it inhabit? How large is its army? What are the sources of its power and strength? Who is the king who rules it and commands its army? Why have they disdained to wait on me as all the western... Why have they disdained to wait on me as all the western peoples have? Achior, Achior, leader of all the Ammonites, replied, May my lord be pleased to listen to what your servant is going to say. I shall give you the facts about these mountain folk whose home lies close to you. 
you will hear no lie from the mouth of your servant. These people are descendant from the Chaldeans. They once came to live in Mesopotamia because they did not want to follow the gods of their ancestors who lived in Chaldea. Chaldea. They abandoned the way of their ancestors to worship the God of heaven, the God they learned to acknowledge. Banished from the presence of their own gods, they fled to Mesopotamia where they lived for a long time. When God told them to leave their home and set out for Canaan, they settled there and accumulated gold and silver and great herds of cattle. What's he talking about here? They set out for Canaan? Well, that was... Did they do that twice, the Israelites? Well, I don't know. Next, fame, famine having overwhelmed the land of Canaan, they went down to Egypt where they stayed till they were all well nourished. There they became a great multitude. Oh, I see. That was way before. Wow, this guy really knows his history here. A race beyond counting. But the king of Egypt turned against them and exploited them by forcing them to make bricks. He degraded them, reducing them to slavery. They cried to their god, who struck the entire land of Egypt with incurable plagues. And the Egyptians expelled them. Oh, which is also in interesting. So, they've already... Oh, that's during Joseph's time, right? They already went to uh, Canaan at once. So they were returning then after they left Egypt. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, see, there's always a little more to everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. They cried to their god who struck the entire land of Egypt with incurable plagues, and the Egyptians expelled them. God, <laughs> okay. god dried up the Red Sea before them and led them forward by way of Sinai and Kadesh Barnea, having driven off all the inhabitants of the desert. They settled in the land of the Amorites and in their strength exterminated the entire population of Heshbon. Mm. Then, having crossed the Jordan, they took possession of all the hill country, driving out the Canaanites before them and the Parasites, Jebusites, and Shechemites, and all the Girgashites, and lived there for many years. All the while, they did not sin before their God. Prosperity was theirs. For they have a God who hates wickedness. But when they turned from the path he had marked out for them, some were exterminated in a series of battles. Others were taken captive to a foreign land. The temple of their god was razed to the ground and their towns were seized by their enemies. Then having turned once again to their god, they came back from the places to which they had been dispersed and scattered, regained possession of Jerusalem where they have their temple and reoccupied the hill country which had been left deserted. So now, Master and Lord, if this people has committed any fault, if they have sinned against their god, let us first be sure that they really have this reason to fail, then advance and attack them. Nice. His, this guy knew... What was his name? Achior, leader of all the Ammonites. Wow. Nice little uh, piece of uh, retold history here. In history... <laughs> hmm... But if their nation is guiltless, may my Lord would do better to abstain, for fear that their Lord and God should protect them. We should then become the laughingstock of the whole world. Wow. Okay. Well, even though, right, the Israelites still have this, seems like, quite respected position when it comes to all that, right, with the people around them. Which is, in a way, really amazing, isn't it? When Achior had ended this speech, all the people crowding round the tent began protesting. Holofernes' own senior officers, as well as, as all the coastal peoples and the Moabites, threatened to tear him limb from limb. Why should we be afraid of the Israelites? They are a weak and powerless people, quite unable to stand a stiff attack. Forward, advance, your army... Holofernes, our master, will swallow them in one mouthful.
That's the end of five. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> it's almost as if Holofernes is, is being given fair warning uh, by someone that has been traveling with him and you know, being a part of all the slaughter and conquering and all that jazz. And, so, and he's, you know, again, here is someone, uh, oh, okay, the leader, general of the army, the whole army, yeah, the Assyrian army. Saying, okay, anybody, what's going on here with these people? How come they're not just waiting for me to also take them over? Well, knowing already you know, that they're going to be slaughtered and I don't know what if they don't just right, give themselves up. And here comes a guy and says, well, let me tell you what I know about it. And says, okay, here it is. This is, right? and what happens? Okay, just going to go to just to that part. There's more, one could talk more about it, but. And here are right, the rest of them that stand around going, heck no, uh, uh, no, 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 why should we be afraid of just these people? Uh, so, and, uh, let's kill that guy who gave you all that information. Okay, Oliveras was asking for information, and here he gets a pretty accurate, uh, uh, short, accurate account of the Israelites. And what are the people doing around him? All right. Wonder what's going to happen. I actually took Akior after that. <laughs> yeah, people turn on each other so quickly, especially what? When you tell the truth? All he was doing is just telling the truth. Hey, well, this is what's happened to these people, with these people and the people around them. And, right? and he seems pretty accurate. Huh? He didn't leave for, I mean, for a short little pretty accurate from what we've read so I sometimes wonder too you know people ask questions just ask another question back <laughs> don't answer because oftentimes people don't want to hear the answers right yes even when you have the greatest uh, 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 intentions right, towards them they say well <clears throat> probably you could fix or solve your problem, you know, if you would. Uh, and then they go, what? What are you talking about? What do you mean? I said, well, you asked, and I'm just giving you some advice. Right? Here you are complaining to me this and that, and basically asking for advice. But then when I give it, you don't want it. Right? Yes? All right. How often does that happen? Huh? I found that the better thing is let people figure it out on their own really so I'm asked a question uh, well, well what would you do said, well it's your life so what would you do you know, what is your first thought on what you should be doing you know, that is on the side of goodness and let the people kind of pull out the, the, the answers out of the people you know, rather than giving them the answer Anyway, stay out of trouble that way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so there it is. I don't have a whole lot more to say this morning. Oh, there's Ivy. She's not really barking a whole lot at us anymore. Oh, so I got up this morning and I'm going to... Hi, Ivy. Yo. And uh, I came downstairs here. There's no carpets or anything. Something smells. And sure enough, their, the dog here had pooped down here. And I, we let her out last night. So I'm not sure what's going on. But, but uh, she's, she has some allergies. What is wrong with dogs these days? They have all these problems. I've had so many dogs at the farm and they didn't there was one of them that was severely abused as a tiny little puppy you could tell that had some skin problems and stuff that I had to deal with but it, I didn't 
take that one to the doctor or this and that. I mean, we had we had the vet often come to the farm and to just took care of many different things altogether. Since we had all the large animals, and I asked the one vet one time, and she said it's a it's a, a, a seasonal mange or something that this dog now has because it was so abused as a baby and. And uh, she said, there's not much that you can do and, and just kind of go with it. So we did and we just made sure that she was she was warm in the winter time because she didn't have that much fur. And yeah, yeah. And interestingly enough, as she got older, she seemed to do better and God suddenly had lots of hair. I don't know, it just happened with two or three animals that we had that we uh, adopted or rather rescued that uh, ended up we're just in horrific shape that people are doing things like that to animals letting others do things like that to animals i again good luck in the afterlife <laughs> okay now i'm not happy about that but man i wouldn't want to see ya wouldn't want to be ya anyway uh, and the, as they would get older, right, somehow, suddenly, things got better, right? Yes? Yeah. No, it's just nice. Uh, so this dog has some allergies, and, and uh, she's on allergy pills. And I think these allergy pills are starting to mess with her a little bit. So I'm going to read up on it, talk to my daughter. Yes, that dog's a clean dog. That's a really rare thing. I saw a lot of grass in her. Poop. You know, some of it was okay, some of it was a little diarrhea, and I'm going, something's not right with her anymore. So, uh, and this is not, huh? if our dogs have a little funny poop going, it's because they're out there eating who knows what in a hundred, on 150 acres, right? Yes? Okay. But this dog is mostly in the house, comes outside, and uh, does her business, goes on walks with us, so she's not around that kind of stuff. So it's a little bit concerning on what I found this morning, and so I have to talk to my daughter. And uh, I think I'm thinking that the allergy medicine that she's getting may be getting to her a little bit. So we'll find out. Huh? See, you're not feeling so good. Anyway, so there's a reason, right? Okay. Well, if I left her out longer last night, maybe she would have. I don't know. I have no idea, but I feel like. As I said, very clean dog. That dog will hold it and hold it and hold it until right, she can go out. And, you know, of course, with us all here, she gets to go out all the time. She always comes out with us. You know, wherever, if we're down here, if we're out in the front, if we're going for a walk. So for her to, to, to do that, somehow, it's almost as if we needed, or one of us needed to see what was going on. Huh? Yes, inside her. So, yeah, one more thing. <laughs> the dog pooped in the house <laughs> last night. <laughs> it was like before midnight. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. We're going to have a great day today. Yes. And uh, I'm just going to take them for a really, really long ride. There is this one part that's just all just uh, still dirt, and and I'm just gonna sit. You guys, we're gonna take a chair with me, and I'm gonna sit there. Yeah, yeah, one of those fold up, light fold up chairs. I'm gonna sit there and just watch them all just ride on up and down. They have my 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 grandson has a BMX bike, so they can, and uh, his friend does too, so they can do all kinds of. They're gonna have a great time. Yes. Ah. Uh, and it's, it's, it's going to be a, a very, very comfortably warm day again. The humidity is not as high as it was last week. It's, it's amazing. I have to say, I, now we live in a microclimate of the farm, okay? Yes? In the s southeastern Kentucky. And it, the weather just does what it does. There's no, you forget the weather report, okay? Because it always does whatever it wants. All year long, it's like that. Of course, the seasons, yeah, but. And I thought here it would be a little bit more, right? Yes, different, more consistent. It's not. It's not either. I said, good morning. 
you have this week of just absolute heat and, and, and humidity where you literally are you know, feeling the air like it is water pushing it aside. And, uh, and now, and it started, sure enough, okay, Saturday was still a little, it started Sunday, where it cooled down, it cools down, it's, it, it's uh, pleasant all day long. Right? Yes, uh, isn't that interesting? Yeah. Well, anyway. So there it is. That's all I have to share this morning. Yes, yes, yes. All about me and the kids. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't talk about you and your kids. <laughs> Just say. <laughs> and here we are again. Well, the book of Judith. Haven't heard much of Judith yet. <laughs> It's coming, I'm assuming. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, there you go. Hmm? Yeah. All right, better not say what just came, what I wanted to start saying. No, 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 we're not going to go there. May Heavenly Parent bless and protect you. Yes. Brace you with love, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.